First at six, though, forget backpacks and books. Teachers in a Shelby County school are opting for bulletproof vests for back to school. Now, last year, as we told you, guns and gun safes were added in an effort to help protect students and staff during any emergency. Well, Jordan Burgess uh, followed the teacher training for that program. He returned there today, and he is working for you tonight to find out what's new this year at Sydney Schools. All around Sydney, you'll see signs like this one, talking about how the district arms its teachers. We're asking whether the program's working and why it could be coming to your school. Inside these boxes are supplies Sydney's superintendent feels are essential for the start of the school year. Do you think it's overkill? No, um, we don't think it's overkill. We think that we are being proactive. Which is why in here you'll find more guns and gun safes. The district now has 25 in the second year of its plan to arm teachers. The safes are hidden across Sydney's seven buildings and can only be accessed by staff members trained to be part of the district's armed response team. Added at the end of last year for that team, bulletproof vests. We wanted to know, has it made Sydney safer? We do have some families that have indicated to us uh, that they have opened a role with their children in Sydney City Schools because of the school security measures that we have taken. Walk into the high school and what will greet you is a sign for the armed response team. The district also has surveillance in all of its buildings and security officers who are retired sheriff's deputies. We feel that it, it certainly is not only a deterrent, but we think there were a lot of other benefits that these school security officers, especially, brought to the forefront by being aides for kids, being helping kids with uh, academic issues. All the security measures have brought national attention in the form of a documentary being filmed, but they've also gotten the attention of local schools. There are uh, several other neighboring school districts that are going to implement uh, um, similar tactics. Superintendent John Chu says what some see now as excessive could soon be the norm across the country. Do you think this is the future for schools? Unfortunately, I, I think that it is. And the superintendent says all of the security measures will be in place when Sydney students go back to school on Tuesday. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.